It's Tom with AQ Lighting, and welcome to a Fix It Friday. I know it sounds different, because it is. This is Brian, our head tech guy that's going to uh, explain some of the fix-its you might run into, or one of the fix-its that you would run into if you're going to install your own 12-volt uh, system, which is safe. I personally think, forget all this, you go with NSC, but that's for another video. Brian, what do you have for us today, and, and what, do you, uh, what are we going to troubleshoot and make work? There you go. So we're just going to do, do a quick troubleshoot here. So uh, what I want to do is introduce you to this guy right here. This is Mr. Multimeter. If you have a low voltage system in your yard, you should have one of these in your toolbox. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, this guy is very important. So what you see here is we have a transformer. I have three fixtures. You should be able to tell that two of these are on. And this middle one, it's not working right now. I'll get this phone call all the time. Um, you see here, I switched out the bulbs, I flip yep. flop bulbs, yep. and one worked, and, and it, it worked when I put it in a different sure. fixture. You know, they're either saying, well, it's not the bulb because, right, they'll call and say your fixture's bad. Exactly. You get this call all the time. Your fixture's bad because I've swapped the bulbs, the bulbs are working right, um, there's something wrong with your system, uh, or something wrong, wrong with your bowl. Exactly. No, because I checked it. Something wrong with your fixture. Yes. So the first thing I'm going to do, though, is pull up the multimeter. So this guy tells me facts. No and feelings. If, this is all facts right, right. here. And, okay. and, and if, you're, if you're a handy guy, it's never something bad to have. Yes, you'll do it. You check electrical. You can check continuity. Um, it's just not a bad tool to have. And they're very, really in, fairly inexpensive. This was less than 20 bucks, yeah. it's probably eight years old. Yeah. You don't need a fancy, you don't gotta spend 50, 60, 80 bucks. You know, all you need is one that's going to register. This has to be digital. They have them either cheap or they have needles. But the, the digital's worth it. Home Depot, any of your uh, hardware stores are gonna carry them. Um, and like I said, you don't have to spend a ton of money, no. but they'll, all your guesswork, right out of everything. That, and that's exactly, you, guesswork. Everything else is guessing, this is a fact, and that's what we want to stick with. So this right here is our transformer. We know the transformer's working, our other lights wouldn't work. Right. Okay, right. so the first thing we want to do, I'm going to ask you is, do you have any voltage here? So Tom, I'll let you test it. Okay. Um, so keep in mind, most landscaping transformers are 12 volt AC. So if I don't, if I put this on DC, I will not get an accurate reading or some kind of crazy reading. So I need to turn it onto the AC voltage. Right. So you can uh, test it here. So when you're testing the JCB uh, JC by pin, you don't want to rem the needles all the way in like as if you were putting a bulb in. And you probably won't see this, but one is a lot thicker than the other. Right? But the tip isn't. Right? The tip isn't, but that's a lot thicker. So you don't want to stick these all the way home and, hey, I got power. Then your bulb's going to wobble around and flash on you. You're going to wonder why. Yeah, all you need side. to do is just set it right in the top. So I have like three bolts. Yeah. So this is, that obviously is not enough to light so, that up. No. So basically, this being an AC system, all this is picking up is the return. That's it. It's got, it's got current in it, but it's, not, it's got no power to it. It's just registering the return. Because it's um, an AC. You, you go, if you go to the one that's good, he's just touching, just touching the socket. That's all he's doing. All right. That's a full register. Now you have full voltage here on that, and all, all right. you're doing is touching the socket. I'm just barely putting the tips just in the middle of those, and I'm making sure that that's it. So at this point, though, we know we have voltage. Obviously, there's no voltage at the socket. Why? I'm gonna, the next thing you need to do is pull up your wiring. So hopefully you have your wiring buried near, near your fixture and you gotta no, pull it up. No, but, okay, so you're saying it's the wiring, which I'm not saying it is. I'm gonna say I'm gonna check. Next check, right? Because these don't go bad very often. They're good UL listed multi-bolt sockets. They're, they're good sockets. We use a good high temp wire or we use an NSC, you'll see later down the road, but they don't go out. It's pretty simple. Wire comes up, wire comes up, pins are there. They don't go out very often, very rarely. Especially, especially, if, especially if they have been working. Right. And then just stopped. Exactly. It doesn't happen often. The other part of it is a fixture is a fancy way of holding the bulb. Right? So you're, it, it, even if the 
the socket did go bad, doesn't mean the fixture's bad, it just means we need to replace the socket. But that being said, you would trace back where you connected into the, into the system. Now, some Brian or, or we both forgot to say, these are run in series. We're going to the first one, jumping to the second one, jumping to the third one. Well, so when I pull up the wires, which would be three wires in one, right? You have a wire coming in, you have a wire going to the fixture, and you have a wire heading to the next on the common side. And then on your tap side, oh, look at here. I only have two. Now, you, this may look like this, right? It may still look like it is, but if the copper wire is not making contact with the other copper wire under here, then that's going to be a problem, right? So now, if I put them in, mix them all up there, put them in a wire nut. Now, I go back to my tester, and B and AC, doesn't matter which side you put them in, it's going to register the same. Full voltage. Full voltage. So, basically. Now, odds are, when I plug this in, I'm going to do this without blinding the camera. We get light. So as, as a recap, this right here is factual. This is what you want. You want to know what is your voltage, do you have it. Use this guy right here. It'll, it'll make troubleshooting far, far easier. Yep. That's what we have for you.